Blair police say a man died protecting his sister, and they think this man shot both of them. 22-year-old Elijah Logan is on the run tonight, and as KTV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely reports, police urge you to call 911 if you see him. Blair police say 22-year-old Elijah Logan drove to the mother of his child's house Friday morning with a plan. This was, um, I think, a uh, domestic relationship gone bad, and he got mad, and he, this is what he came up to do. The Council Bluffs man and Samantha Ely share a child together. Police say Logan ambushed her in her home off 10th and Park around 6.30. We think he might have parked in the back and snuck through the houses and went in through the front door. The chief says Logan kicked in the front door and found Samantha Ely inside. They say her brother, Jonathan Ely, tried to protect her as Logan opened fire. Jonathan was killed. Samantha was shot in the legs. The infant child unharmed. Blair police say Logan is on the run and should be considered dangerous. As far as we know, yes, uh, uh, the firearm that he had that he used in this is still with him. Multiple agencies are looking for Logan now. They say he's five foot nine and 175 pounds. Logan was seen leaving the area in this 1988 green Jeep Cherokee Iowa plate NAM 032. Family says Samantha is a fighter. She's doing well at an Omaha hospital. They call her brother Jordan a hero who died protecting his sister and nephew. If you have a problem with somebody, you deal with it. You don't go uh, use guns and solve your issues that way. According to court records, Logan was in court Tuesday on domestic violence charges. Council Bluffs police say Logan choked his mother last month after she confronted him about fighting with Samantha. He bonded out and was expected back in court on that felony in June. Officers want to find him and fast. You see this plate. Um, don't try to do anything. Dial 911 and let someone know. Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.